Hey, you! Yes, you, the one with the shitty-looking beard covered with chip crumbs and poo particulates. You need to be treating that chin monster a whole lot better. Go give that bastard a wash and head on over to himboss.com. Peruse their proud selection of scented beard oils and accessories. A beard commands respect. Respect your beard. Himboss.com. How the hell are you, you sketchy fucking heat scorers? Galactic criminal here. We've got ourselves a band today that I've had in the bullpen of groups to react to for a couple of weeks now. They're a six-piece melodic deathcore band from Van City, British Columbia, Canada. Then, today I come to find out via some YouTube comments, they just released a brand new video for the first single off of their upcoming full-length album, I want to dig right into this Angel Maker Hollow Heart with a one, two. There's always one step forward and it's two steps back. going on within this track there's guaranteed to be like nuances 
that I missed out on on that first listen. I'm absolutely going to have to listen to this again. And I mean, did everyone in the band get a chance to do vocals? Maybe not the drummer. <laughs> there were at least three for sure that I was picking up on. The two like main vocalists having like sort of polar opposite styles of, of scream. The one with the higher pitch sort of almost black metal style of scream. And then you got the, the deeper, more like deathcore style of scream. And then you got what the guitarist jumping in too with a scream as well. There was like a, it was like a three tier thing that I feel kind of meshed really well together, especially, and I'm going to say my absolute fucking favorite part of this track right off the top, dude, is when those different screams right near the end, right where it slowed down, where they, they all kind of took their turn, sort of like a, doing their style of vocal and then they all kind of just blended into one and then they're just like fuck <laughs> it's just such a such a cool visceral fucking moment then you take that almost like chaotic nature of the vocals and you add that to the music which the rhythm and pacing of the shit was also incredibly chaotic all the different fucking like timing changes just the fucking picking up the pace at some moments, giving it the taka taka taka, and then fucking dropping into the, like, the slowest fucking slammiest shit. <laughs> and then, in like, on, I've said this kind of before, if that was like on paper, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really make sense, but I feel it very much made sense in this, in this fucking track, dude. And I'm gonna say that so far, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the pig squeal. I mean, like the, the first like real exposure that like thus far that I've had to that was uh I'd reacted to a band called Within Destruction and I thought the track was so fucking badass that I just I was like you know what fuck it I'm not even gonna listen to any more of this group I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the album and the rest of the album compared to that track by itself ended up ended up being very much different ended up being a little more like this uh, heavier slamier and they're doing a lot of the more like rolling style of growl also doing a lot of a lot of the pig squeal and to this point i don't really understand it that much i guess it's got its place and people like it and it's it's a predominant i guess piece of a lot of deathcore that's fine i feel in this track it was used incredibly well if it's supposed to be used as like a like a vocal accent or almost as like an instrument itself i feel it was used incredibly well but also sparingly in this track just this fucking deep slam fucking drop of a moment and then it's just a wee wee <laughs> I don't quite get it yet, but I feel this track brought me a little bit closer to enjoying it. But now aside from like that, the end bit of the track being my favorite moment in the song, I think the uh, what allowed me to enjoy it as a whole was like I said before, the sort of chaotic nature of the vocal, the rhythm, the pacing of this thing, not really giving you a chance to get bored before moving on to something else. All the rhythms feeling very cool. Some of them feeling almost like like hip hop style rhythms before going into the taka taka taka. Even taking a couple of moments in there to do some quick solos and shit, but, but keeping that pacing going at the same time. This honestly though kind of gets me wondering: is that like doing these reactions and being exposed to heavier and heavier styles of of metal and being like you know acclimating to those styles and then getting heavier and heavier? It's kind of like being a fucking crackhead you know you need more and more every single time just in order to get high you know and so it needs to get heavier and heavier for me what happens what happens when i've reacted to the heaviest 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 and then there's just nowhere to go <sighs> that's a scary thought <laughs> so yeah overall if you couldn't tell up until this point I really enjoyed that shit. Big up to my fellow mother Canuckers. Say, hey, what did you think of this shit? Are you a fan of the pig squeal? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video so you want to watch it for yourself. Full screen for audio and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.